All righty. I want to thank you guys for coming here bit, today yeah. on this rainy Saturday at 9 a.m., I guess, 9.45 now. Um, this is a pretty good turnout. We're hoping to more people trickle in later. Um, I think the best way to start this day to energize the crowd a little bit is start with a few questions. Um, I wanted to get a sense of who we're speaking to today. So if um, there are students in the audience, can I get your hands up? Woo! Nice, that's, that's it. I'm, yeah, good amount of students. Um, Bitcoin Core Lightning developers in the audience. Oh, okay, cool. Just a handful, I wish there was more. Um, and then like professors, faculty, uh, anyone teaching? Oh wow, only, is that two? There's only two. <laughs> Maybe they don't wake up at uh, 9 a.m. on Saturday. <laughs> All right, um, okay, so kind of split crowd. Oh, industry, industry professionals. All right, nice. So a good variety here. Um, all right, I'm gonna give another hard question. How many of you guys heard of Bitcoin before? <laughs> All right, I want you guys, just keep, keep your hands up. How many of you guys heard of Bitcoin before? All right, if you heard about it last year, put your hands down. 2023, okay. Have you heard about it before 2022? Put your hands down. Oh, before. sorry. If you heard about it before 2022, keep your hands up. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, before 2021, 2020, 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Oh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10. All right. Who? Who is the? <laughs> who is the ten? Um, do you mind explaining how you heard about it in 2010? No, no. This this guy. Oh, 2011. 2011. How in the world did you know about it before any any of us did? Uh, I Wow. Oh, wow. This is awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, 20, 2011. So in 20. Oh, you didn't buy it. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> we would have had a rich man in the audience if we bought it. Yeah, okay. Funny thing is, uh, 2014, um, a friend, Dan and Jeremy, um, who started the expo, also gave out $100 in wow. Bitcoin to. 3,000 students back in 2014 oh, yeah. when we had our first expo. At that time, the price was $336. And he gave, did we track the walls? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they sold $336. Oh, they lost it. They sold or lost it. Oh my God. All right, so yeah. Before we dive in to this wonderful lineup of discussions today, I wanted to take a few moments to express my deepest gratitude to some people. So I have it here. Um, first, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to the incredible team um, behind this event. Without their dedication, hard work, and passion, this expo wouldn't have been possible. Um, I wanted to secondly uh, appreciate our sponsors, of course, Noble Dow, and Sia, who couldn't make it here today, um, for their support and commitment to advancing the dialogue around Bitcoin and blockchain technologies. Um, without them, this event couldn't have happened here today. And then, of course, our esteemed speakers, um, your expertise, insights, and willingness to share your knowledge are what make events like this so impactful for all these people. Um, so, to our team, sponsors, and speakers here today, I wanna to thank you for your unwavering support and dedication. It is only because of you and your collective efforts that we were gathered here today and ready to explore, hopefully, the endless possibilities of Bitcoin and blockchain in general. Um, so without further ado, uh, let us kick things off and we could have Peter Nobel, who is our uh, anchor sponsor this year, give a brief uh, talk. 
No? Ah, here we go. So uh, one of the initiatives is very well aligning with this. Thank you. We're we aligning with it, this event's topic. But first of all, I would like to thank you, the, thanks the uh, organizer of this fantastic event. And um, I'd like to express my attitude, uh, my uh, thanks to the organization and uh, for having me here today. So it will be a pleasure. Uh, the two organizations I will present is the Nobel Sustainability Trust uh, and the Nobel DAO. The Nobel Sustainability Trust, uh, I am the chairman of that organization and the Nobel DAO is a quite recent uh, initiative that we have taken for approximately eight to ten months ago, so it's very new. Uh, the two different organizations are having a different approach in terms of how the organizations are set up, how they work, and what, what the goals are. But uh, the both organizations are having the same goal, namely to, um, to create better conditions for the, for, the, for the world in future. So that is what the two organizations uh, support. Uh, <clears throat> the Nobel Sustainability Trust Foundation was established uh, a few years ago. Uh, and uh, what we do in practice is that we're arranging uh, uh, sustainable or uh, summits within the sustainability fields in combination to uh, an award ceremony where we are awarding the best developed, uh, developed sustainability, sustainability projects. And that we do uh, uh, on, on an, an annual basis. And the primary goal is to reward organization and, and or individuals that has co accomplished uh, um, uh, sustainable projects that has a very high degree of their capability of uh, swift implementations uh, that, uh, wherever they are applied. Uh, so we are not promoting basic research with these awards, but we are promoting projects that has a, more or less an immediate effect on the sustainability conditions. The Nobel DAO is, a, as I said, a recent initiative that, in contrast to the NSD organization, builds on a very on orthodox uh, structure to develop outstanding technology and innovation ecosystems. Uh, as you know, the developments in the blockchain technology uh, offers unprecedented uh, possibilities to improve and find new technology, technologies. And when they are combined with uh, artificial intelligence and uh, digital currencies like Bitcoin, I think they combined will have a, a huge impact on the most social uh, sectors of uh, different societies. And uh, I think the, the developments are so fastly developing and we see and we believe that the, there is a need to uh, handle or make benefit of these developments by creating a little bit of a different organization in order to, to uh, grasp and uh, develop uh, the good ideas further on. And with the Nobel DAO organization, we believe that we have created a very powerful and uh, proactive platform for falsely uh, uh, develop new technologies that are needed in a long range of different uh, disciplines. But before I go into a little bit of the backgrounds for the two organizations, because these two organizations are um, uh, linked to our family history. Uh, so I just want to give you a brief background of the family history. As you may know, the Nobel uh, family was a prominent industrial family during um, the 19th and 20th century. And they had a dominant position for, uh, that spanned over three generations. And the three brothers, uh, Ludwig, Alfred, and Nobel, uh, Robert Nobel, had uh, together a, a, a phenomenal uh, innovative power and creativity that they, they explored within different industries. And eventually they established manufacturing industry worldwide in, uh, in uh, explosives, of course, with Alfred Nobel, and 
uh, also weapons, oil, chemicals, U-boats, hugs, and a lot of different, uh, 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 different things. Uh, and the developments had a huge impact on the industrial development during the 19th and 20th centuries. Um, <clears throat> there are two interesting contexts with uh, their um, incredible, fantastic developments that they perform, uh, namely that the, the um, uh, develop the product, more resource, resource effective product in all the kind of industries that they were involved in with it, in, in, in an incredible pace. And secondly, they realized quite early on that the more they invested in uh, education and healthcare for their employees, the better the business seems to go. And, um, uh, and you know, the healthcare and the education are two key components of the sustainability uh, definition as per today. The word sustainability in those days didn't exist, exist probably in the sense of the today's uh, definition. But anyway, that, that, that's what's their way to conduct their businesses. Uh, also, <clears throat> in the later years of Sebadian, they established two uh, awards they, in, for advanced uh, advances in metallurgy and uh, petroleum. And in the end, before the uh, Russian Revolution was confiscating the, um, the oil industry in Azerbaijan, where the two brothers, uh, Ludwig and Robert, built up an oil dynasty, they together, all three actually, uh, controlled the oil industry together with the Rockefeller and Rothschild families. So uh, with this historical background, uh, we believe that uh, supports our, uh, support our uh, current offers, uh, efforts and with our well-known brand, we are not only continuing their legacy, their, their legacy but also aiming to support and uh, accelerate global developments uh, and so in science and techn technology. The... Um, <coughs> Nobel Sustainability Trust Foundation is a non-profit organization. We are based in Switzerland and we are holding key trademarks around the world. And if we are financed by philanthropic capital. And uh, it was <coughs> created by the number of uh, family members that all, all were sharing um, the concern of uh, the, the devastating developments in the climate, climate change we see today. So that was our motivation for creating the um, uh, organization. Uh, what we do is that we <coughs> are arranging a yearly conferences in major cities around the world and we have in combination with the, the, um, uh, the conferences an award ceremony where we are awarding, uh, we have three three awards that we uh, are distributing uh, um, uh, to uh, um, uh, three awards that are issued in the category of leadership in implementation, outstanding research and development, and outstanding contribution as the third category, sustain sustainability. And the three different areas we, we alternate between are energy, water, and agriculture. So uh, our, our mission is that we are um, supporting, uh, supporting and encourage developments in, and implementation, implementation of sustainable solutions. Uh, and the way we, we are selecting the recipients are based on a system where we are using the advanced uh, Institute of uh, Technical University in Munich which is an independent organization and works on our commission. Uh, <clears throat> and, and this makes us quite unique in the sustainability field as we are backed up by uh, an academic uh, organization. The um, committee consists of uh, two different selection committees where 15 
up to 20 professors' works and are represented by uh, uh, all the continents in the world, and they are selected by universities and institutes. So uh, here are a little bit of our views on how we are regarding the very exciting developments of Bitcoins. Uh, we, we believe or we see that the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin and blockchains together has played a pivotal role for promoting technologies, innovation, uh, such as promoting financial innovation, promoting developments of decentralized application and so on. So there is a vast number of different applications that that we see that has been, uh, <coughs> been, been supported by the very strong development in, uh, in the blockchain technology and, and, uh, and uh, <coughs> dig digital currencies. We believe that in future the blockchain will have a major role for scaling up uh, and it will continue to support the wider adaption of uh, uh, decentralized applications. Um, so here you see a lot of different um, uh, applications that, uh, that, that we see are, are in our interest. Among all those blockchain technology innovations, we think that the DAOs are the most appealing, appealing one to us as they, or the DAOs aligns, aligns very well with our family mission to promote and support techno technological innovation. So uh, <coughs> there are several uh, uh, benefits, as you, you are quite aware about, with the, uh, the, uh, the blockchain. And uh, the unique benefits are well suit, suited to facilitate the interdisciplinary technology innovations. Uh, the DAOs has a comprehensive incentive model, and the contribution uh, will, or contributors will have a reward from the DAO. Uh, the, the DAOs also uh, are having a, a, a great openness and exclusiveness, and it, they facilitate cross-disciplinary dis disciplinary innovation among global tech entities. Uh, so the, the establishment of the Nobel DAO, we believe we can promote interdisciplinary technology innovation in, in a greater extent. And this is continuing in our family long-standing pursuit and support in technological innovation. I'm on, on the time wise. Oh. So in future, uh, DAO will be integrated in traditional systems. And we may say, of course, may, major, major improvements in hybrid models combining DAO elements with traditional organization components to balance efficiency and decentralization. Uh, of course, there will be uh, a well-needed development and improvements from the jurisdiction, jurisdiction's point of view. And we believe that the Bitcoin and other currencies, uh, cryptocurrencies will be better re uh, recognized when we have uh, the legal jurisdictions in place. And that means that we will have a more faster integration into the global economy. And the DAO is an organization form and operational model for future enterprises. And we believe that many, 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 many people will work for, for the DAOs in future. So uh, the Nobel DAO was uh, quite recently uh, uh, established. It's not more than eight to 10 months. And we are a cutting edge technology, technological innovation <coughs> system, ecosystem, where we act in as an accelerator and, and via, via different tech, hub, tech hubs we are planning to, to, uh, to, to install, we aim at, uh, where we aim to unite the top 1% of the smartest minds worldwide to drive the significant breakthroughs in the tech industry and for improving the world conditions. So the future, in future, we believe there will be a lot of competition between different ecologies and our aim that we will uh, try to be one of the third, uh, top third uh, companies. 
So here we have an overview of, of the, the, the status of um, or the structure of the DAO. We have the Nobel DAO, which is uh, actually uh, the semi uh, decentralized organization for for this uh, support that supports the build up of the of the structure. Uh, you can say that we are the administrator for in, the Michelin administrator, and then we are building up uh, gig centers. I will show you the first. A GIG center that we are setting up now in the, in the Silicon Valley. And uh, the <coughs> financial side is built on, on the Global Future Technology Family Association. And uh, all these as I say, entities in the, in the structure will be uh, supported by an expert advisory group uh, that is composed by uh, different people. So here is uh, the three main characteristics of the, uh, of the family association. Uh, we are targeting 10 different prestigious tradition families, and we are about to close deals with uh, two, three uh, already. And uh, we are targeting to have 90 pioneering entrepreneurs also in, included in the, in the organization. Uh, beside, beside the financial part, the family association will of course provide invaluable guidance to the, uh, to, the, the, to, to the members. And the, uh, the association will, of course, uh, run the, the uh, dedicated uh, venture capital and, and private equity funds that will uh, provide uh, substantial financial support to the selected projects. And the ex expert ad advisory group will consist of different wild people that can be Nobel laureates, science, science fiction writers, futurists, and experts in marketing, finance, and science. And the role will be that they will act as, an, as a consultant to the Nobel DAO members. So here you can see a picture of where the first um, establishment we are. We have acquired a real estate in Silicon Valley that is about to get refurbished now. So it's gonna be uh, finished in September month. Uh, and um, uh, later on, we will also complete the building with a, with a, with a museum and a, a new building. And then later on, we will also uh, establish more, uh, more um, gig centers in, in Stockholm, London, Boston, and Hong Kong. And uh, each gig center will have the spaces for industry and technology discussion. And we also like to see or we will see and we will have installed uh, facilities for having the, the members in the DAO family to uh, keep fit. So they will have the possibility to, to explore extreme sports and of course to uh, conduct brainstorming. So here we can see the four main characteristics for the, for the, uh, <coughs> for the incentive mechanism. Uh, we have developed a, a, a very advanced modular incentive system that will en enhance the ownership and attract the, the talents. Uh, we are, the selected project will not only receive uh, the backing, uh, financial backing, but also extensive business network support from the family association. And the Nobel DAO will also have the possibility to directly found top projects that can bolster the ecosystems, leading enterprises annually. And then we also take away uh, uh, no sense of bureaucracy as uh, each family member will have a, an own, has a voice in the, in, in the, uh, lab, uh, in the, in the, um, in, in, in the DAOs. Uh, <coughs> that <coughs> the, uh, and through the voting that will contribute and earning rewards based on the involvement. And in quite juicy in initial uh, um, um, reward is that we are awarding the top three ra ranked uh, for IQ scores uh, in the first year. We'll receive rewards up to $500,000. Uh, and if a member invents a disruptive, disruptive technology, the, we will, the Nobel DAO will hold an annual grant prize offering rewards higher than $3 million. So 
So uh, here is uh, the main characteristics of the of the uh, uh, recruitment um, uh, criteria. Uh, the IQ test score must be 140 or more, uh, and there is no let's say this. We are not discriminating anyone. We have certain reasons why we have this level, but I, I, we don't have the time to go into the details of that. Uh, and the age uh, for the DAO members will, is set to, to be between 13 and 35 years old. And the fields in the initial phase of the plan, the 10-year plan we are having, uh, are restricted to sectors including artificial intelligence, blockchain, biotechnology, new materials, and disciplinary projects. In future, we'll see no restriction for the number of fields that will be worked on. Uh, we are planning in the initial phase to approach or to have 3,000 applicants, whereof 10% of them will be hosted in the, in the, uh, in, in the, uh, in the GIG centers. And here you can see the, the, the formal procedure of the application process. So if you feel tempted, you can already log in, log in to, the, to the address here and fill in your application if you feel for that. So um, finally, we believe that um, uh, our, from our perspective, we are, we are gathering this elites not for creating a giant profit machine, but merely to create better conditions for humanity. So eventually in future, uh, the humanity can have a more work-free life and enjoy life in many, many, uh, many good ways. And robots are in, in avoidable and they will do the work for us and when they outnumber the humanity that will, of course, um, uh, create this condition for humanity to, to enjoy life in a much better way. And also, ma money-wise, the money system may also disappear, uh, and the humanity can probably uh, reach, new, uh, higher, reach new and higher uh, spirits levels. So that is our vision. Okay, thank you for your attention.